Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I wouldn't say for them to What in Merlin's name If only a new student would help me with my sad predicament. take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spell casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Surprisingly, as good as his word. <laughs> Revelio. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackal described. What are you up to now? Intramuros. lead us to whatever it is your mind is.
those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. It's a good thing Jack Doe didn't fall down there. almost complete. More spiders. This kind of what the hell is this jack to i 
incendio. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident, if ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that Rebellion. door, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Blended. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens, ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Nearly Headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, I thought it was odd too. But then, we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt, and- You met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> that must have been interesting, to say yes. the- Yes. And then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkins, so that he'd tell me about how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. 
Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. You can feed a beast, or it can feed... Confringo! Confringo! You may want to move. Uh, oh. Your poaching days are over. Uh-huh. 